Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are checking out Otto's Chocolate Cadabra. So let's just jump into it. I don't know what to expect here, but I'm excited. I hope you are all as well. Let's just hit play in 3, 2, 1, play. Okay. 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 Okay, so we're already leading into a lot of like synthetic themes, but we can still hear that like guitar popping out of there. Seems like our percussion is probably going to lean more towards um, digital, but I I'm still liking how we're shaping this instrumentation, and we've kind of got this like almost a jazzy feel to the vocal supports as well. So that's, this is pretty fun so far. It also seems like we've got some really nice animation here. Nice. Mm. Nice. Those are some really nice supporting lifts for the vocals. And I, I also really like it. It's a subtle bass that we've got here, but it, it's got this kind of alternation between um, kind of popping out in the mix and then letting just the guitar and vocals ride on the top. And it, it's it's got this nice rhythm to it. It really accentuates that rhythm that's also, you know, made through the percussion itself so you know classic interaction between the bass and the drums but it, it's a very nice alternation that keeps things going nice okay a little big like treble pulse there we kind of cut out some of our bass tones nice okay that's nice we kept the bass tones on the vocal track but we just kind of cut it out of the instrumentation so we're still letting otto's voice show through but it, it's it's just kind of creating this little alternate instrumentation for uh, this build-up that we're getting um which you can also tell from those like clapping digital percussion uh, percussives that we're, we're building up even more after that with a clear percussion track as well as the clear vocal track Nice. Ooh. Nice. I I like that tonality she uses for that that <laughs> that line there. That is really nice. 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 I also like how even the percussives are kind of pulsing with the vocal lines. Okay. <laughs> I, I like this little like a synth pulses as well. Uh, it's not really like an interjection. It's just kind of like a support. Just the, these synth pulses in the top of the mix. Very subtle as well. I, I actually really, really like that. Right there. So going. Nice. Those vocals. Nice. I like how she kept running with it too. She she hit that twice and then she keeps the tempo up. I mean, Aro is a very very powerful vocalist. So it's it's really nice to see these like like feats of endurance that she pulls off with her courses and stuff i mean it's awesome nice and she came lower as well okay nice oh okay A little switch up here Kind of getting a little creepy, more acoustic. Getting those keys, kind of like a music box. Mm. Okay, another switch up. 
Okay. Okay. That's a lot of distortion there. I, I think a little bit too much, but I, I still like how her voice came through on that. Nice. Those low percussives are really good for impact as well. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what was that? We got like a whisper vocal uh, like with a cutout as well. So it was like a little too close. <laughs> and then it was just it just kind of jumps back in. Also, I'm completely lost in this story. I'm going to be honest. I she's like a chocolate girl. I'm glad she followed that up as well. She like hits the whisper vocal and then she immediately follows up with this like very nice tonality. We get like this high lift, but not quite like not not quite like too high, like where you can feel it's kind of airy or breathy. It, it's still very solid high vocal, which is nice, especially after the whisper vocal, because it's still kind of playing into that tonality, but it's changing the amount of impact we get from the vocal. <laughs> nice. Ooh. I like how we ended that line there with a little, not quite like a squeak, but just like that quick constriction of the throat um, as we're kind of on the decay of the last vocal. Hmm. Okay. Nice. That was some a really nice. She she like built that up and then used that like bit of rasp and intensity in her voice, kind of like almost growling a little bit into the projection for this like belt we're getting here, which is really really nice. And, and here you can tell she's she's in that kind of like high, almost nasal, like playful, sing songy tonality then she growls into the belt which is awesome <laughs> Ooh, that is a really really nice lift we get I, I love when she does I say this every time we hear Otto or Unnamed um, just when they like constrict their throat and almost get that like it, it's kind of like an intentional vocal crack you know they just shoot super up high and then they come back down but it's always very controlled it's not like their voice is just cracking they, they do it very intentionally um, and I, I, I love the way they use it <laughs> that was a nice follow-up on that segment that was probably not you know those i i'm quite sure that was taken in two different takes but i like the way it was layered in the mix right right there that is nice Oh, okay. Oh. And then we end with a little metallic rogue. <laughs> All right. Well, that was quite something. Trigger. Oh, that's a trigger. I did. So I guess this was in collaboration with uh, Trigger Studios. Then. That is really cool. I mean, that, that makes sense. Only Trigger could animate something that is that nonsensical. <laughs> but I, I really enjoyed that. That was a really, really good. That was a phenomenal song. Um, I, I, I like, I mean, all of Otto's songs 
are just like vocal showcases. It's so fun to listen to. Um, though this one was quite the visual showcase as well. Uh, I'm not sure what this was for. If this was, if this is just a single, or if it's like a, it's supposed to like spearhead a new album or something, uh, or maybe it, it was just a trigger, a trigger collaboration that they managed to land. I, I'm not sure how this uh, came to be, but if you guys know, please do let me know. And let me know what exactly uh, was the story behind it. If there was like some story <laughs> behind this other than, you know, just the narrative we got to see through the video. Because I'm quite interested in that. Uh, and I don't quite understand what I was looking at for some of that. But as far as the music goes, massive, massive fan of um, Otto's vocals in this. I mean, th there was a lot of... Uh, really fun support like uh, chorals that it kind of carried a lot of the song um, well I, I don't want to say carried but just sustained through a lot of the song um, and, and that's fine it wasn't like it was took away from anything or it got too repetitive I mean it's not a super long song anyway it's like what three three and a third minutes so it, it's not that bad but um, I think What's more impressive is by adding that and adding that catchy element, she got to show off more of her voice and, and go into like more of these uh, complicated runs and, and really change things up and make it a very dynamic song because she was able to always rely on those repeats, those choral repeats to keep the catchiness of the song, keep it popular, keep people listening to it and able to sing along to it. So... A very smart composition I, i'm very impressed with how smart this composition was as well as just how well mixed it was i mean there's um some really really nice moments I, th I think the only real moment where i was like oh maybe i would have wanted this mix a little bit different was like um the kind of distortion switch up uh when the chocolate girl like melts um but other than that i mean i i i think I think it's very obvious that even then on that distortion switch up it's meant as an interjection to highlight the intensity of the following segment so i don't think that that was necessarily like a fault or anything i think that's just a preference thing um so overall this was a phenomenal phenomenal song and i'd like to if any of you know uh, any like story behind how this came to be or why this came to be or what the narrative uh, was about uh, feel free to let me know i'm quite curious but aside from that i really enjoyed this hope you all did as well please feel free to recommend any more things i should check out in the comments below and aside from that i'll see you all next time thank you so much for watching goodbye